to tour this baby. It is called the Biltmore. Now, is it me or is this a kind of a different shaped house than what I've seen? It almost looks like two houses. But I'm really excited to see what it looks like. So let's go take a look. Again, this is the Biltmore. I see a lot of windows in this home and that excites me. So, sorry it's so loud. It's, we're right on the side of the road, y'all. I love the standard doors in all of these homes. We've seen the same door so far. If you've seen any of my previous videos, we've seen the same door. So, okay. Ooh. Shut the door and get into it. So this is the front door where we just came in and you step into a foyer. This is a foyer area. Love the color of the floors. Love, love, love the floors. So I'm trying to capture just how beautiful this entryway is. Let's see. Shut the door. So this is the entryway. So when you come in, you have an archway here and you have an archway here. So, ah, uh, which way do we go? So let's look to the right. To the right, we have, I would say that this is probably the living room um, or formal living room. Um, huge room. Beautiful accessories. I love, love, love the gray trim, gray and wood trim. Um, you can put a huge TV there. Love the cutout down here for like your DVD if you still have one or any of your electric um, electronics. I love um, the brickwork um, there. That accent wall is beautiful. I love the fact that there's not carpet in here. Um, it does have a ceiling fan. Beautiful. Lots of space. This gives me a, the feel of a home, right? Because it's open, but it's not open. There's a separation of rooms. We'll come over here and take a look. I love this brickwork. This is brick. That, it, that isn't fake. That is brick. You have your beautiful. You have your crown molding the wood. Beautiful. Nice size room. Again, you have a separate foyer. I could do a lot with that. And there's the room. Really nice. So that was the archway to the left. If you take the archway straight ahead from the front door, then you have a family room here, which is also huge. Now it's carpet in this room. You have a fireplace. You have built-ins on either side of the fireplace. You can put a hundred, at least 80, 80 inch TV up there. Probably a hundred inch TV. Huge, 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 huge. Huge family room. Lots of light coming in from those six windows, the three at the top, the 
three at the bottom. The carpet makes it cozy. Really nice. This, it, it, this doesn't feel like a manufactured home, even though it is. This feels like a, a regular home. Beautiful. Now again, it has the open feel, but there's a separation. So you have two more arches here. And I say two more arches because I love the arch work as you enter each room. This is the dining room. Six people at that table. You could probably put a leaf in it and still have plenty of room in this space to make it eight or ten. Um, beautiful ceiling. I love the chandeliers in all of these homes, you guys. They've really done a great work. Great job. I love, um, I can't think of what you call it. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm forgetting all of the, I'm forgetting all of the technical terms today. Is that Wayne's Scotting or something? I don't know. You guys know what this is um, here at the bottom. But it is so pretty and I just, it's just in the dining room, which is really nice. It's a really nice feature. I love the ceilings. Carpet in the dining room. So from the dining room, that's into the den or family room. So this is the dining room. All right, and we'll walk back in here. Again, that is the entryway. You have the separate entryway, separated entryway. And that is your look into the dining room. And in this archway, which you can also go in from the dining room, but this is the kitchen. pretty. The amount of cabinets in this house is ridiculous, you guys. Not in a bad way. Like you don't you don't need a pantry. You don't you have plenty of cabinet space and I love it, love it, love it. All right, you got your island in the middle. You could probably put three bar stools there, these same bar stools. You could probably put three. It's a huge island. You have your sink here in the island. These sinks must be standard because I've seen them in all the houses that I've been in so far. You've got storage over here, your dishwasher and more storage over there. These countertops are so pretty. So, so, so pretty. I love them. You have the smaller sink and the larger sink here. Now that's the first time I've seen this particular sink. Usually it's split down the middle or it's one big sink, but I, I like that. Um, so you can prep your food on one side and have dishes on the other. Very good. So that is the island. Black appliances in here, you could totally upgrade to stainless steel if you choose. You have the side-by-side -side refrigerator. These cabinets are amazing. Your oven is here, which is nice. That's a nice feature. This is the first home that I've seen that. Plenty of counter space. And you have two, huge, two beautiful windows, one over here and one over there. Lots of counter space. Your flat top is, is right there. Your cooktop, love the hood. Love the, love it, love it. Disregard that you guys, they're still putting this house together. That would go there and then it's some more. 
down there that has to go up but that is a really nice ceramic tile that goes there for this backsplash beautiful 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 so much space in this kitchen so much space let's scan this room so you can get the full effect you've got can lights in the ceiling Those lights must be typical too because I see them in all the houses. Really nice. Really nice. So from the kitchen, I'm entertaining. I have guests in the family room, guests in the dining room, and I'm here Washing the dishes, prepping the next hors d'oeuvre or meal to go out. And this is my view. Very nice. Off the kitchen is the laundry room. Standard for these houses must be sinks in the laundry room. Got your back door here. You've got counter space and a sink. Lots of cabinets in this utility room. That's where your washer and dryer would go. Master bathroom um, entry will go around and come through the master bathroom. But um, huge, huge laundry room. Huge laundry room. Huge laundry room. Love the color of the cabinets in this house. So pretty. So let's check out the guest bedrooms. So you have huge guest bedroom right here. I'm talking about really big. This is a huge guest bedroom. This is the size of my bedroom. <laughs> this bedroom is huge. Really nice. You've got your closet here. Kind of sits cat a corner on this wall. Kind of an L-shaped closet. Really nice. Awesome. So that's guest bedroom number one. One, you've got a hall closet here, coat closet. You could put some extra shelving and make it a linen closet. You've got guest bedroom number two. You know, I like to go in and scan the room so you can really get a good idea of how big it is. And then you've got your closet over here. Super. All right, and then it's kind of dark in here, but you've got your guest bed, bathroom, and you got a sink, toilet, and tub and shower combo there. Also, sorry it's so dark. Again, this is the Biltmore. So you can go online and see this home at Wayne Fryer Home Center, or you can call them for information. And I'll try to um, put some pictures online. They don't have many to choose from. The whole idea is to come in and take a look at these homes. Okay. All right, let's go and see uh, love this fireplace. I don't know if I zoomed in on it earlier, but I love this fireplace and it's a huge, huge mantle up here. I could do so much with this mantle and these built-ins. Beautiful. All right. So off the family room, is the master. 
huge master nice lots of windows big master all right in the master bath you have your shower here love the shower and the shower head you have your bench there your garden tub is next to the shower and then you have double sinks here with lots of uh, cabinet space so you have cabinet space up here and then you have space down there for like towels and I love this backsplash this towel is so pretty love the sinks and the huge mirror you have a little privacy with your toilet on this side of the wall and then again this is the laundry room so off the it's off the laundry room you have a window over the tub toilet there and your sinks now this is your master closet and it's kind of dark in here but just to give you an idea you have a huge closet in there that's a really nice closet really nice closet huge closet all right and that is your master bath i don't feel like i'm doing it justice i i love the color in here too it's kind of soothing spa like color like a cucumber melon or something love the colors in here so you have your double sinks here and on this side you have your shower and you have your tub over there and your toilet so it's like a galleyway um room a galley room where stuff is on either side um, it's not big and open like other houses that we've seen, but it's totally functional and I like it. Tell me what you think about this master bath. Really pretty. So that's the master bath. Master bedroom. Family room. With fireplace. Got your dining room there. Kitchen. Guest bedrooms on that end. And then you have more of a formal living room over here. Very nice. Hope you enjoyed the video.